Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our very last segment in our 2020 conference. I can't believe how fast these last three days have gone. But I'm very happy to end a conference on a note of hope. That is my, oh, here I go. That's going to be my goal for this next year is hope. Um, hope for new beginnings for each and every one of us as we battle with hypopara. Hope for new treatments, hope for repair of old treatments, just hope. So I thought a perfect way to end this would be to ask Ariana if she would be willing to share a little bit about what she's been doing for not only the Hypopara Association, but also for children with chronic illness. But at that time, Ariana was not able to do anything because she was having kidney issues. So I thought, okay, well, I'm just gonna put together a little PowerPoint and we're gonna show her video. Next slide, please. Okay, so my first job as, I can't remember what it was, was to find someone who would be our keynote speaker for the Hypopara Conference on, in 2018. And I thought at that time, Ariana had her book out. Ariana Rose, uh, I can't think of the last of it, but she'll tell us. Anyhow, it was a neat story. And she had also had done a, um, a dinner party in which she had everyone wear t-shirts. You can go to the next slide if you want to. Everyone wore t-shirts and she told the story of what it was like to have hypoparathyroidism. And you can see everyone in, the, in their t-shirts raising awareness. The other slide, well, those are Liz Glenister shirts, but they're okay too. So anyhow, I asked Ariana if she would be able to and she said yes. Then she started having issues with her kidneys and she had to um, cancel, which I was sad, but I said, is there any way you could maybe do a video or something for us so that we could maybe show it? Well, Ariana, being Ariana, made not only a video for us, but she made a short movie documentary. Next slide, please. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, skip that one already too, because, yep, she couldn't do that, but she did it. So what she did was she made a short documentary, and this documentary made it to, and now she'll tell me if I'm wrong, 18 different film festivals, and she won 11 awards. Next slide, please. These are some of the pictures of her, and up in the, left corner that's her she and her bestie which is her mom in the middle that's her with her brother and these are just some pictures of the wonderful things that she's been able to do with this deck documentary um do i have one more slide i can't remember oh yeah this was just what was it last october 16th. So this was just last week, two weeks ago, that she got um, Best Director for Documentary Short. And it's just so exciting to see taking a little idea, like putting a video together and watching it take off and just see what we could do with it. So without further ado, let's watch the video. One more second, sorry. Maybe. <laughs> oh, I got my popcorn. Let's have our popcorn and watch the movie. No idea my life was about. When I was 16 years old, I had no idea my life was about to change forever. One second, I realized you couldn't see that screen. Apologies, one more second. Okay. I 
therapist. My journey with Oh no. What happened? Is it playing? For our parathyroids live behind the thyroid in the neck. Their job is to regulate the calcium in our blood. For about three years, my calcium level was so unstable that every few weeks, emergency measures had to be taken to save my life. At any moment and with no warning, my calcium level would drop dangerously low, which affected my heart, my muscles, and my ability to breathe. It was a very scary time. I was always waiting for the next time I would have to rush to the ER for emergency IV calcium. After about three years, my calcium levels got a little more stable. However, outside the hospital is only possible with a strict schedule of medicine over the 24 hours of the day. Every person with hypoparathyroidism manages their condition differently, but we all have to regulate our calcium from the outside of our bodies. This is extremely difficult because the body's need for calcium is constantly changing. There is no cure for hypoparathyroidism, only treatment for the symptoms. My life so quickly from a regular high school student to a person with a medical condition and a lot of physical limitations. Even once I was able to live outside the hospital, I was very weak and unable to return to school. I watched my friends move forward while I could hardly walk down the sidewalk I used to run down. I felt like I didn't know who I was anymore. I realized that I had to make a choice. I could either be sad forever about the normal lifestyle I'd lost, or I could be grateful for everything I still had and push forward. I had to come to terms with a new version of myself. I didn't have the physical strength to do the things I used to love, so I decided I would build a new me by finding new interests. Most of my day was filled with taking medications, so I searched for evening continuing education classes to see if I could find something that would bring me joy. Once a week, I took an introduction to watercolor class at a local art center. Then I attended a philosophy lecture series at a nearby college. I joined a meditation club. I took a poetry class. I realized that in one hour each week, you can actually learn a lot about yourself. I looked everywhere for resources for young people with health conditions, and I was disappointed when I didn't find too many. That's what inspired me to write my children's book, Ariana Rose, A Story of Courage. Ariana Rose, A Story of Courage is a rhyming story that follows a girl on a trip to the doctor's office and back to school. I know how overwhelming it can be to find the right words when people ask you about having a health condition. So my main goal with Ariana Rose, A Story of Courage, is to give kids easy to remember mantras to keep in their pocket. I take special medicine and get extra rest, have a positive attitude and do my best. It will get easier after a while, so I always keep hope and remember to smile. Because hypoparathyroidism is so rare, the small community stretches around the world. Ariana tells her friends not to worry or fret. She's still the same girl. She was when they met. I have been able to donate my book to children in many countries, and on a few occasions I have even been able to do international book readings over Skype. Being able to see these kids connect with my book has changed my life. I would like children with health conditions to know that they're not alone, and I want their classmates to see a positive example of acceptance. I used to be a person who wanted to do everything for myself, but one thing I've learned is that you don't have to be afraid to ask for help found that people can be very kind and accommodating if they know what you need. I've gone from being a person who felt weak saying, I'm so sorry to bother you, to being a person who feels strong saying, I have a health condition and here's what I need to succeed. It would only be half the story if I told you I've come this far by myself. My mom, my dad, and my brother mean everything to me and they're always there to help me remember to take life one day at a time. We all face something in our lives and it's not our obstacles that define us, it's the way we face them. Your life is so valuable. Whether you have a chronic illness or a limb difference or a disability, that doesn't define who you are. You are not your health condition. You are so much more.
Without further ado, I introduce to you Ariana. Oops, there you go. You're muted. You're muted. Can you hear me? Perfect. Yes. Um, hi, thank you so much for playing my film. Um, I'm Ariane Feiner, um, and I want to say thank you so much to the Hypoparathyroidism Association for sharing my film and sharing my story. Um, two years ago, the Hypopara Association asked me to be the keynote speaker for the conference in Chicago. I accepted and I was so excited to do it, but then my health began to decline with the onset of an additional totally unrelated uh, autoimmune condition called ankyovasculitis. I realized that I wouldn't be able to make it to Chicago, but I was still really determined to be a part of the conference. And so I asked them if it would be okay if I sent a short film of what I would like to say in my speech instead to go in my place. And Jim said that would be great. So I, I got to work on my film uh, right away. Um, my film has taken off since then in ways that I never planned. Although I have not been well enough to travel myself, my film has traveled all over the world in my place, from California to London to Nice and to Madrid. It has been an adventure that I've enjoyed so much, and it all started with the Hypopara Association asking me to be the keynote speaker. The fact that they knew I had something to say and wanted to give me a platform to say it empowered me to raise my voice and create this film. And once I started talking, I realized that I really did have a lot to say. It's so important to me to spread the message that while a health condition may be a big part of your life, it doesn't define the wonderful person who you are. As I said in my film, it's not our obstacles that define us, it's the way we face them. The Hypopara Association has done an amazing job on this conference, and I know that I can speak for all of us in this community when I say thank you so much for all of your hard work. Thank you so much, not only for making a fantastic and accessible conference, but also for uniting us the entire year through the newsletters and supportive Facebook groups. The last thing I wanna say is that it is my goal to donate a copy of my children's book to every child in the world with hypoparathyroidism. So if you're watching this and you have a child with hypopara who I haven't sent a book to yet, please get in touch with me and I will get one in the mail to you as soon as I can. Uh, my email address is arianafiner at gmail.com or you can also get in touch with me uh, via the Hypopara Association Facebook group. Um, and thank you again so much for letting me speak today and I would be happy to answer any questions that you may have about my film or about my children's book. Uh, thank you so much. Okay. As of right now, we don't have any questions. We have lots of comments for oh, you though, okay. Ariana. <laughs> it says, uh, first one says, thank you for giving us all hope. Much love from Canada. Second one says, beautiful and amazing. Wow, thank you, Ariana. Thank you, thank you for all you've done to raise awareness. Um, thanks for spreading awareness about hypopara all through the world. I'm sure you are also inspiring all of the vasculitis patients out there, which is also thank a rare, you. serious condition. Thank you, it is. That's um, certainly been um, a big limitation over my last two years. I've had hypopara since um, 2009. Um, I got hypopara from uh, a surgery for Graves' disease and the complication that happened was that all four of my parathyroids were removed. And so that was when I was 16 and then I had that and I've had it for uh, about 10 years. And then just like almost two years ago, the encovasculitis came on and it's causing me now to have a lot of problems with my kidneys that are actually totally even unrelated to hypoparathyroidism and it has just totally thrown me for a loop uh, to have a, a second health condition but you know the hypoparathyroidism association is is number one in my heart <laughs> okay and the, someone just said um thank you so much can you please repeat your email address oh yes okay so it is ariana finer at gmail.com and that is spelled a-r-i-a-n-a F-E-I-N-E-R at gmail, G-M-A-I-L dot com. Um, and I also have a website for my children's book that I would love for you to check out. It's arianarosebook.com. 
Uh, oh, and I, I meant to say earlier, the name of my children's book is Ariana Rose, A Story of Courage. Um, and just to um, loop back to what you were saying before, and I, I have um, I have social media on Instagram that's at Ariana Rose book that I, I love to, I have a lot of my little friends that I've been able to uh, meet through the Hypopara Association, children who have hypoparathyroidism, who I've been able to be so lucky to connect with and sometimes have uh, Zoom calls and Zoom readings. Um, and that really, that's just like I said in the film, it really has changed my life to be able to connect with these children. And I really, you know, I feel like sometimes I don't know why, you know, in our lives, these things happen to us that are really sad and really hard. But I do feel like this is one positive thing that I can make happen from this really difficult thing that happened to me. And that almost sort of makes it okay in my mind. Well, that's wonderful. Um, is there a way for people to view the movie again to share yeah. with others? I would love for you to view my film again. It's actually on YouTube. Um, it's free to watch at any time. Uh, the YouTube, uh, if you just put into YouTube, my name Ariana Finer, or if you put in the name of my film, which is A Story of Courage, uh, it will come up and it will say uh, A Story of Courage, a short documentary featuring Ariana Finer. And it's uh, just really, really easy to get there through YouTube. It's also on uh, Vimeo. But yeah, I've been I've been really lucky that I've been able to uh, to take it kind of around the world through film festivals, which I totally did not plan on doing when I when I first started this film. As I said, I just really was doing it because I I wanted to send myself virtually to Chicago to be a part of the Hypopara Association conference. Um, but then it really kind of grew into this into this project, and I you know I started submitting to film festivals that were here. I live in Atlanta, in my hometown of Atlanta. And then after that, I sort of started, you know, that that seemed like it was going great. So like, I, I thought I would reach out a little further to, you know, other film festivals around the US. And then eventually I've reached out to these film festivals that have been international. Um, and now I'm up to, I think 25, I think I just hit my 25th film festival. And I've, it's been just so well received. And like, a lot of the film festivals have like, recognized my film for like I think about I think maybe 15 awards now like just recently as my last one and I'm just every time I try to go and uh, if they ask me to make a speech I try to say I'm here to raise awareness for my very rare metabolic condition hypoparathyroidism and I really try to enunciate each syllable so that no one gets confused and thinks I'm saying hypothyroidism. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, we just had another question come in. It says, do you think you will make another short movie in the future? Oh, you know, I don't know. I, I hope so. I I would love to be able to make another short film. Um, you know, I'm, I'm sort of like I'm in this spot right now where my health is not as good as it was when I made that short film. Like when I when I made it two years ago, it was only just like my health was just starting to decline with everything that's happened with ankle associated vasculitis. And now I'm in a bit of a situation with the whole kidney thing. And so I really don't have, you know, like a lot of energy to be able to be up and around as much, but it is definitely my goal, you know, you know, like none of us really knows what is gonna be happening tomorrow or like how our life is gonna be, you know? So like, I don't wanna say, you know, anything that's like, oh, you know, anything that I know about my health that anyone else doesn't know, but I, I do hope that, you know, I will have been here for a reason. Oh, I think you already have been. I, you. Have you ever thought about doing short, like, uh, motivational, inspirational videos? That is such a nice idea. Like, I, I think you would be good at it. You, you definitely have the personality for Thank it. Thank you. That's so sweet. Well, I, you know, I have totally benefited from, I mean, this horrible pandemic has, you know, is, of course, a the most horrible thing I can imagine. But the fact that it has made... Uh, so many people in the world be able to create their events in a virtual platform has been so amazing for me. Um, you know, all these all these film festivals uh, that are in other countries and even just other cities, I know I would not be able to make it there with my health, but because they've made them virtual, I've been able to like dip in and out on Zoom all over the world in just like one day. And it's it's been so great, I feel like, for people with disabilities and people with health conditions to be able to participate in these events that have never been accessible to us before. Uh, so I'm, I'm really hoping that those accommodations that um, have, have come up during this time will continue, um, you know, far into the future. Well, that was our last question, but thank you so much. You're definitely an inspiration. Thank you you definitely 
have an attitude I wish I would have learned at your age. Thank, thank you thank so you. much. I, I'm so happy to be here. And I, I just want to say thank you guys for making this incredible conference. It, you just blown me away with how uh, how much great information there's been. And I, I just I feel so glad that um, these these uh, sessions have been recorded and I feel like they're going to be such a great resource for us and for our caregivers and for our physicians to really be able to have that information uh, in such a tangible way. Ariana, uh, it's just Amanda the admin. Just want to let you, but the attendees, know that everything Ariana just said with Instagram, her email, her YouTube, all that. I I wrote all of it in the like Thank in the chat, you. so you could find the link, her Instagram, her email, and her website as well, all in the chat. I really appreciate it. No problem. That that is so helpful. Well, thank you so much for having me. I'm I'm just I'm thrilled to be able to have shared, and uh, I hope that I hope that you'll be able to take another look at my film if you want on your own, or to share it with your your family, your friends, or you know your social media, or anyone who you feel like in your life that you would like to have them understand what you're going through with hypopara. That was a huge reason why I made this film, is so that people in our community could share it with the people that they care about, so that those people could understand kind of a little bit more about what we're going through. So um, yeah, I, would, I hope that I hope that you will be able to have a chance to do that. And thank you again for having me. Okay. Awesome, Deb, is there anything else you'd like to say? Um, yeah. Yep, it's Bob's turn. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I I just have to do a big shout out to all the speakers and all the doctors and everyone that has put in all the hard work to make this conference such a huge success. I it, it blew my expectations out of the water. These last three days have gone by so quick. I know it's driving my, the rest of my family nuts, but it is such an inspiration. Even 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 though we put this together, it it just fills me full of hope fills me full of love for all of you and it's given us so many ideas on things that we need to do as an organization to keep moving forward and to keep uh, creating this hope for you guys. Um, I want to thank uh, the board members again for all the work that they continue to put in. Uh, Deb Murphy, she's our, our president of the association. She's my VP on the board and Barry is, uh, you know, Barry Gordon and Michelle Reyes and Patty Keating and Joel and Friedenberg and Loretta Gulley. You did I forget anybody? I feel like I'm forgetting somebody. I don't think so. <laughs> you guys, you guys are absolutely amazing um, to work with, and I' excited for this next year. I want to thank the sponsors again. Couldn't have done it without you. Uh, we have Takeda and. Um, Elizabeth Stoltz has been our liaison with them, and she is an absolute rock star. Uh, Amy Knuffler with Ascendus, uh, Jocelyn um, Ashford with Calcolytics, and to be honest, it, Jocelyn gave us these these uh, liaisons that we work with on a day to day basis. They give us so many ideas and so many directions as we brainstorm with them, and they they ask for our help as a community on how they could help progress the projects that they're working on. Um, and even Eva Soraya with Amalite, amazing people to work with. And Jamie Green, uh, I remember Chicago was my first conference, and I remember when Jamie and Amanda came in and spoke and gave the keynote speak uh, speech that night, and it was truly inspirational there too. <laughs> Again, I know we talked about the website. Uh, I, I implore all of you to get on the website if you haven't and sign up for the newsletter. I know there's been a lot of questions and how can we get involved? How can we do surveys? How do we know about the trials and things like that? Well, that's one way to do that is get involved with the website. Let us know who you are, where you're at. Give us your email and we'll make sure we get on that list. Um, we are working on putting together new webinars. A lot of them are based off of continuation from this conference with a lot of interest. Uh, we look forward to starting those. We're hoping to have our next one out next month, so stay tuned for those. Um, we do have a short survey that we just posted around lunchtime. You could, it should be emailed to all of you. Uh, I hope you fill it out. Let us know. Uh, give us your feedback and let us know 
uh, what you think and what we could improve on and what you'd see at, li at the next one, especially if you guys would consider coming to a live event or if you would remain um, virtual. We are still planning at this time to see you guys in Los Angeles next year and continue this hybrid model no matter what we do in the future. We are always going to have this this virtual platform going. I think it's it just allowed us to reach so many people from around the world. Like Ariana said, it, it's it, it's a blessing in disguise from COVID to help all of us. Um, you can also find the link to that survey in the if you go to the Teams function on the left hand side and you go all the way down to Hypopera Association, you'll be able to download the link for that survey there and email it in. Again, I want to thank everybody for taking the time and spending it with us. And as a board, I, I know I speak for all of them. We love all of you. And we wish you the best of luck and continued success in your treatments. You guys reach out to us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Um, we're always there. If you need a phone call. I filled it a phone call at lunch. This lady asked if I could give her a phone call and I did that at lunch uh, today, you know, so we're here to talk. We're here to help, right? We are here for you. Um, and again, thank you. Thank jo uh, Amanda from Skill Me Up. Oh my gosh, we couldn't have put this together with out her help and her expertise and all of the team that worked behind the scenes to put this together. You guys have done an amazing job. Um, from the bottom of my heart, I, I just I love all of you. I, I thank you and I thank the doctors and the sponsors and everyone and I, I wish you the best luck and we will see you soon.